And good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. You're back with the Midwest Express. Today, we're talking about DoorDash. Yesterday, I went out and I, I want to say I did DoorDash for about six hours yesterday. And it got me thinking as I was rolling along, I was thinking, what kind of content do I want to do on this channel? And what do I want to share with you guys as far as information out there? Because there is a lot of YouTubers that have done countless videos about DoorDash. So I kind of just thought, where DoorDash is right now with the resetting of the acceptance rates and what's going on. I just kind of wanted to do this video and talk to you guys a little bit about how all these apps kind of work in a way is it's all about the algorithm and the algorithm isn't like DoorDash isn't, there isn't a person at DoorDash that is actually choosing and setting you guys these orders. It's, it's the computer. So the computer is, using AI and learning your habits, what you're willing to accept and what you're willing to do for a dollar. And it's constantly testing you along the way. So with the resetting of your acceptance rates, my acceptance rate was above 50 yesterday. And I went out and I did notice that there was an increase in orders. But what I want to talk to you guys about is how to benefit from this new algorithm acceptance rate change. So for me, here's here's like some of the top tips and tricks that I try to use for my area. And it might be different for your area because you're in a different town. But so I kind of see my city as the center of the city, the more metro area, the university's downtown area. And then Around the city, we kind of have a ring of uh, where you find a lot of the box restaurants, the malls and whatnot that kind of divide between the city and suburbia. So between those two, we have these malls. And what I like to do is I like to work from that center area of all those box restaurants out to the suburbs. And out in the suburbs, they have restaurants as well. But I try to work back and forth between these set areas and and by doing that and only accepting orders that go between these set areas i've personally found that the algorithm eventually goes oh john likes to go between here and there and here and there and they kind of set me up on a on on a route that just goes back and forth and you know sometimes when, when it's busy it works and sometimes when it's not busy it doesn't and, you know, they always ask you, you know, do you want to deviate and go way out here and risk and reward distance, time, money, all that good stuff. Right. But I try to avoid areas that I don't want to go. I know that if I take an area that goes up to this one suburb, if I take a couple orders that way, all of a sudden they just keep giving me more and more orders going that way because the algorithm's learning that, oh, John likes to go there. Well, if you don't want to go somewhere try to avoid those orders and just turn them down. And I know it's going to bomb your acceptance rate or whatever, but you have to teach the algorithm what you like because the computer only knows the information and data that it gets from you and your orders and your order selection. So um, I also, I number two, I try to avoid areas that restaurants that don't stack. And what I'm talking about is, like, I never, ever get a Chick-fil-A stacked order or a McDonald's stacked order. Those two restaurants in my area, no matter what, they do not stack orders. You can go in and there'll be a whole bunch of to-go orders and they'll call in four or five dashers to get them instead of stacking. So with that, I try to avoid those restaurants unless it's, like, really, really slow. And... If I take those orders, I know I'm not getting another order out there. Um, I try to avoid stacked orders. And I love stacked orders, but I hate stacked orders. And here's the example. DoorDash is infamous for giving you one good order and one bad order. So one of them is like really high paying. The other one's trash, no tip, whatever. So to avoid this, some drivers will unassign the trash order, which... You could do that. That that works, but then your drop rate goes down. But you can only play that game so long before it starts to affect that. Um, 
another way of doing it is I actually, I like to get a single order. I mean, optimally, I want to get an order from $8 to $15. That in, in an area that I know that restaurants are infamous to stack, but the order isn't stacked. I'll give you an example. Panera and Chipotle, they stack orders all the time from these restaurants. But what I like to do is I like to get a single order from Panera with hopes that they're going to stack something on it after I get to the store or while I'm waiting. Because you do have a little bit of weight at those restaurants. But it does work out often where I will get a stacked order at Chipotle and then they will, you know, throw on another one or another restaurant. That's a decent order. If they do this plus $2 for an additional couple miles, I don't do that ever. Um... Do, do, do. If you do take the restaurants that, uh, like a McDonald's or whatever, it, it is what it is. That's what you're going to get. That That's the one good order, and then you're done. Uh, if it's a monster, though, it's good. Uh, I've, I've had $13, $14 uh, orders for Mickey D's. You know, it happens. So uh, my next tip would probably be dash when it's busy. And... That's the meal hours. Don't, it, it's a waste for myself. It's been a waste of time to dash between like one o'clock and four o'clock in the afternoon. All the orders, almost all the orders during that time of the day, unless it's like football Sunday and people are ordering, you know, a lot of B-dub or something like that. But for the most part, during the day between one and four, there's nothing out there that's worthwhile. Mainly, it's just grocery store stuff. And a lot of those grocery store stuff is just booty. And that's my next tip. Stay away from supermarkets. There are two infamous supermarkets in my area. Um, one is hy V, And hy V used to be really good. Back in the day when DoorDash was, you know, two years ago. And during the pandemic, uh, High V had it set up where you would just pull around to the back of the store. They would open a door and roll out the cart. You would load the stuff and go. Well, they started this new program called Isles Online. So they built another little distribution store, maybe 100 yards across the parking lot out in front. But they have to wheel all the groceries out to this area. And they do it on top of every hour. So DoorDash will send out the orders like 10 minutes before the top of the hour at the 50. They'll send out all these orders. And some of them are tempting. You're like, okay, this isn't the best. You know, it's $15 for seven, eight miles. And you're like, uh, I know I got to go all the way out there. It's kind of out to where nothing's at. Uh, it's slow, right? It's between that one and four o'clock. So you're like, I'll take it. And you get there. And you show up because you were nearby. You show up in the aisles and there's a whole bunch of other drivers there. And they come out and they say, oh, we're we're rounding up all the top of the hour orders. But they'll be out here shortly. And you won't get loaded until like 15, 20 minutes after the hour. You spent a half hour easily waiting for this order. And then the drive there and drive back to the area where you're going to get more orders. It ends up killing the whole hour hour and a half for 15 bucks just it's been a loser every time and then there's another one that's uh woodman's which is this super discount uh supermarket in our area and it's really good bargains they just wheel out the pallets of stuff pretty much and park them in the aisles at the supermarket and people rummage through it all to get what they want but they they do a good job at shopping ahead of time but because it's such a discount store, the tips are always awful. <laughs> Very rarely are the tips any good for picking up a DoorDash order from these stores. So I avoid the big box supermarkets that are using DoorDash because it's just usually the payout just isn't there for me. But that's my market. Maybe it's different for yours. Leave your comments below. Um, shop and delivers with DoorDash. I love shop and deliver orders, especially the ones that go to 
Walgreens, CVS, even Dollar Store. And the reason why is, especially if they're small, you're in and out so quick. And I mean, after you've done a few of these shop and delivers at the CVSs and the Walgreens, you learn these stores pretty much inside and out. The only difficult areas that I have struggled, <laughs> all right, I'm a white male. I had a young lady that made a whole bunch of feminine products. Uh, she was having some health issues and I was in that aisle a lot longer than I needed to be to find all these feminine products because when they don't have what you need, I don't, as a male, I don't know what a reliable substitute will be for vaginal inserts. <laughs> so I struggle with that. And I also struggle with uh, some of the uh, African-American or black women's uh, hair products. There is a lot of stuff that I'm just not <laughs> knowledgeable about. And I always have to flag down some other people to help me out because the, those two things are my Achilles heel. But other than those, I love doing CVS and uh, Wal Walgreens uh, deliveries. They're really in and out. Anything small. I said Dollar Tree or Dollar Store. Uh, those, those could be a little bit challenging, but I the payouts from DoorDash on these shop and delivers do pay out more. Um, yesterday I did a Dollar Tree order. It was pretty much just Gatorade and some medicine and it was a $15 payout and the person gave me a $3 tip and DoorDash paid 12. So it was advantageous. And I mean, I was in and out really quick. So those are just some of the things that I thought this whole resetting of the acceptance rate. I do see that the, the orders that were made to me when they were available, when it was busy seemed to be a bit better. Uh, I didn't get as many lowball offers. And also, that's that's that whole thing of dashing while it's busy. Uh, if you're going to do DoorDash, you got to go out when the orders are out there. And, you know, I had the other night, they, they were given a $4 incentive because it was just so busy. Uh, Friday night was a banger for me. I made up for for the rest of the week, kind of off of DoorDash and Grubhub. So uh, Spark, <laughs> still, it was tough. I went out yesterday, uh, Spark orders were just really low, and I'm, uh, it is what it is. But hope you guys have a great day, a great week. It's football Sunday for me. Going to take some time off and enjoy the rest of the weekend with the wife. Hope you guys are doing well if you're out there getting it, and uh, we'll hit you on the next one. Like, subscribe, and we'll talk to you later.